I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, my name is uh, Paul Ariel Malimtoto. I'm a servant of God by His grace. Today is a, another day that uh, Yahweh God has given to us so that we may share something with you in the Word of God. I want uh, you to open 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 1 to 2. The Bible says, Simon. Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who have received a faith as precious as ours through the righteousness of our God and Savior Jesus Christ, grace and peace be multiplied to you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ our Lord. Grace and peace be multiplied to you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. My brother and my sister, I want to share with you that grace, grace means unmerited favor, or grace means favor. And the peace, you know peace, is when you are in that kind of rest, without fear anything, and Peter says this, grace means favor, and peace be multiplied to you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. I want to tell you that uh, everybody in this world need favor. You need to be favored wherever you go. If you are a businessman, you need to be favored. If you are a worker, you need favor in the sight of your manager, your supervisor, your boss. Uh, if you are doing anything, you are in marriage, you are in, a, in every area, you are a teacher, you are in every area of your life, you need favor. Favor make us to be accepted. Everybody need to be accepted. In your neighborhood, in your environment, in wherever you are, you need to be accepted. And uh, the Apostle Peter knew this and says, Grace be multiplied to you through the knowledge of our God. And he said in this place that the grace, the favor that you need will be multiplied in your life, will be full in your life. You will in every area in your life through the knowledge of God and of our Lord Jesus. So you need knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ the knowledge of God and of our Lord Jesus Christ to enjoy the favor. Because the knowledge of God will connect you to be favored. That is not what I'm looking for. But he says again, grace and peace be multiplied to you through the knowledge of God and of our Lord Jesus Christ. Peace, you know, peace is the important things in the life. Lack of peace is uh, the root of many problems in life. Maybe many are sick, many families are broken, many countries are now in the war because of lack of peace and the man's world has made many organizations looking to brought peace to people but let me tell you that uh, even the U United Nations has been able and able to bring peace to the world there is war everywhere in the DRC, 
in many, many countries in the world, Syria and everybody, everywhere. But let me tell you that the real peace is the peace that comes from the Lord. Because Jesus says that I give you the peace. I left you my peace. I give you the peace. Is not as the world give peace. The world has the way to give peace. They can give you words. They can say, if you need to be in peace, do this and that. But let me tell you, the Bible says that the real peace comes to the knowledge of God and of our Lord Jesus Christ. That bring the peace. Why the peace come and how the peace come to the knowledge of God? Know this. If you read in uh, First John, the Bible says that God is love. When you have the knowledge of God, you have the knowledge of love. When you know that God loves you, dispatch the situation, dispatch what can come to your life, in your life, you will be in peace because you know that God loves you and his care of you. When the Bible says that uh, peace be multiplied to you through the knowledge of God, God is love. And of our Lord Jesus Christ. Why these true things? The knowledge of God and of our Lord Jesus Christ. First, God is love. Know that God is not the one that is the author of what you are going through. Because many people say that uh, this catast catastrophe, this uh, 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 Things that bad things that happen in the world, God is the one that caused it. Let me tell you that God is good. He cannot be the author of those hurricanes and things that happening in the world. This tornado and things, the 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 the, the bad things, the cancer, the sickness, the death. That is not God. God is love. Those things come from the enemy. When you understand that this thing is not coming from God, my God love me. He will not allow, he, 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 even if this has happened in my life, his love is caring for me and through his love, he will brought me from this. So the Bible says that peace be multiplied to you through the knowledge of God. Know that God love you. And he care for you. And when you know that, you will be in peace. You can sleep. Know that God care for me. And the second thing he says, through the knowledge of Jesus, our Lord. Jesus is the Savior. When you have the knowledge, when the Bible talk about Jesus, is about the Savior. That's why uh, uh, Simon, when he saw Jesus, he said, my sight, my eyes, has seen your salvation. Jesus is the salvation, is the savior. So Jesus is the one, when you know that uh, you have the knowledge, you have the knowledge of Jesus as a savior, you know that um, despite what I'm going through, despite this sickness, despite this situation, he will save me from it. He will deliver me from it because I know him. He is my savior. Even if trouble come, he will deliver me from the trouble. Even if things happen in my life, he will deliver me in it. So when you have the no these two knowledge, the knowledge of God, love, the knowledge of Jesus, savior, you will be in peace. You know that he will, he, God love me and he will save me from the situation. Even if things go ups down and you know that things go the way you don't expect you can believe the love of God that in his love he will save me he will deliver me and he will brought me out of this may the Lord bless you the peace of God come through the knowledge of the love and of the Savior in Jesus name Amen